Right on Main Street in Artesia is a historic building housing Sagebrush Annie's antique store. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Luann. Good to see you. Michael, this is Luann. Nice to meet you. Hi, Michael. Nice to meet you, thank too. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thank you for coming. Yes, it looks like you got a treasure trove of things in this building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have lots of stuff. I think some of your travelers, especially like from back east and yeah. up north, they really like, um, you know, the country room right. where the the deer heads and the, you know the western stuff and everything is because they're not used to that you know and uh, some people mistake the the cow hides as you know something exotic or something <laughs> right. you know, so. <laughs> it is kind of fun to get to educate people on different things looking from outside it seems like this building has been here a long time so can you give me some of the history yeah this building was built early 1900s about 1903 mm -hmm. or five or something like that uh, they called it the Joyce Pruitt Building. Mm -hmm. uh, it began as a mercantile and it had um, a bar, a restaurant in it at one time. Wow. Uh, later, they made an upstairs up here, which became um, a motel. Okay. And you've been here before, so you're going to yes. have to guide me to all the, all the antiques that stick out to you. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Brianna spends a good deal of time here, pitching in and helping Luann out, so she's more than familiar with the great finds within so these rooms. There any interesting pieces in here that well, you love? Actually, this old hat box. We got this in a storage unit like a few years ago. Huh. It's like an old cowboy hat. Yes. How this hat made it from Fifth Avenue in New York to Artesia, I'm sure I'll never know. I love antique shops like this when we come into small towns because they're the perfect place to grab a memento or uh, an item that m reminds you of that place, you know? Or a souvenir. Or like a souvenir or something. We make our way into the most heralded room here, the Western Room, where a wall of deer and elk trophies greet you and relics of pioneer days line the shelves. So Brianna, how do you know all this stuff? Well, because I come in here almost every other weekend okay. to come help Luann out and I practically learn the history of Artesia in yeah. this place. Well, that's legit. It's a nice felt hat. But see, that's in now. That's the hip thing. They're like, that's a, a hipster hat. <laughs> I don't think so, but... <laughs> Brianna's not taken by my hat selection, so we move on to pursue some of the other rooms and their treasures. Now, this is one of the most interesting rooms in the house. Okay. And why is that? Well, because we have this old sign that used to stand in front of an old country market. Uh, this exact sign? Yes. When ham and eggs used to be a dollar. <laughs> that Prices just tells have you, gone up. Yeah. It's nice to hang out with a young person who takes such interest in items so far removed from the digital age she grew up in. And it's always good to have a friend to go antiquing.